Hey, howdy, hey everybody, Suru here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to craft the auto cooker, the ancient automation auto cooker. And I'm also gonna share how you can actually craft stuff automatically. It's gonna be really amazing. Now, if you guys do find this video helpful at all, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to have to do, of course, is make your way to Eternity Isle. You're going to have to progress through the quest until you make your way over here into the second area. Once you get to the second area, you are then going to make your way over here. You will do this by doing the whole Jafar quest line. Keep making your way. And we're going to go all the way down into this little secret chamber. You're going to have a quick little quest line to um, put these arms on the statue. You'll be talking to Jafar right here. After that, you will get the ancient um, like time bench machine, the time bending table. And you can craft stuff here. You will also get one of these that you can place down at your own house or place it wherever you want. But whenever you get that, you're going to have different stuff like, you know, a quest tab, ancient machines. You can craft furniture and just uh, all this good stuff. But... To get the auto cooker, we're actually going to have to upgrade our hourglass. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as you're going to see, I need 5,000 mist. Well, conveniently, I just happen to have 5,000 mist. So my hourglass upgrade is a level zero, but I'm going to unlock all the stuff here. New treasures to be found, the basic ancient cooker, the basic ancient gardener, um, a basic ancient vacuum, some game pieces, and then some more upgrades for my tools. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this now. Okay, it didn't show the animation, but I did upgrade the hourglass. So let's go back in here. Um, it is level one now. I don't know why it cut that out. But if I want to level it up again, I'm going to need another 5,000. And it filled this little bar here, so it'll eventually get to the top. And I have these pieces right here. But I also have ancient machines. So it says ancient machines can be placed in your village to assist with various tasks. They use mist to function. So yes, it is going to take the currency, which is the equivalent of Dreamlight. But um, you have mist over here. It's going to use mist to power these. I'm not going to lie. I saw that coming. That's usually how a lot of these games go. But you are going to have to farm up some mist. Luckily, mist is not very difficult to get at all. And then it says upgrade your hourglass to craft more efficient machines. So there are better versions of these that we can craft. It's just going to take you a little while longer. So if I want to craft the ancient machine, I'm going to need to go and get me 2000 mist and then two ancient cores. Now, the reason I don't have these yet is because I literally just unlocked access to the ancient core at level one. So what I'm going to have to do is go around searching with my hourglass like you have been uh, before. So you have to find these little rifts in time, collect them, and then hope you get one of those new things. But I have found that the fastest way is just to find those little time anomalies, which are all over the valleys. I can scroll over here and I spot one over on this area. So I'm going to go over to the glittering dunes and I'm going to teleport there and we're going to go activate that. And hopefully I'll pull one of those really rare materials. All righty, here it is. So let me activate it. Let's see if we get lucky. Activate this, go over here. Nope, just a basic part there. Uh, got some of that, which we need to farm up anyway, so we need 2,000. Oh, this one's a rare one. This might be it. And there we go. We just got our very first one. As you see, it takes longer to pull those out because they are extremely rare resources. We got another one here. Maybe I'll get it. No, I got a different rare part. So, Okay, I have a feeling that this is going to be the piece that we need. It's taken a while, so it has to be rare. And there it is. Now, I did farm up um, probably about 30 to 40 treasures on the original map. And I didn't get another one of these pieces. So maybe the, the chances of actually getting those to spawn over on Eternity Isle is actually higher than the base valley. But I do have two of the ancient cores level one. So let's go ahead and craft this. Like I said, you do actually end up getting one of these benches for free. So I already placed mine down over here by my house. So we're going to go ahead and craft it at this area. So we're going to go down to ancient machines and I could either choose the ancient cooker, the ancient gardener or the ancient vacuum. We're going to go with the cooker for this one. So 2000 mist, 
two of those, three of the ancient plates, and three of the ancient radiators. You get all three of these from just digging up treasure. So here we go. We finally are getting our ancient cooker. Now, let's see how does it work. And we're also going to get some of these back. So we upgraded our hourglass. We get 100. And then combining resources into auto cookers, we got some more there. To find this, you need to go down to utilities and then scroll down to the bottom. And then here it is. So I'm going to place it right there. And let's go up to it. So it says, choose the ingredients and quantities that you'd like to cook. It costs the mist. Let it cook for a while, then come back and collect your meals. All right, so we have some coal here. Select ingredients. Let's say we want to do Arundelian pickled herring. We got five resources right here. We're going to autofill. We're going to hit start cooking. Okay, now that we have the ingredients in there, we're going to go ahead and hit cook. And it's going to say how many. So if we craft just one meal, it's going to cost 25 mist, which is actually insanely expensive. So if I were to craft just 10 meals, it's going to be 250. Now, obviously, as you play the game and as you get further, mist is not going to be required for a lot of things. So you're going to get more and more. But as of right now, if I wanted to auto kick 10 meals, it's going to be 250. But that is still a lot faster than you doing it by yourself. It's a lot less work. Now, as you see, it does cap out at 10. That is because I'm using the basic cooker. We still have two more versions that we can upgrade to. That is going to make things faster. It's probably going to make this cost less for each one. And we're going to be able to craft more at once. So it is going to take 10 coal. We're going to make this and we're going to activate it. So 250 coming up. As you see, it has a little progression right here. There's 10 and it is not super fast. It's still going to take a while, but you can just leave and come back later. And then as you see right here, this is where it'll be done. Whenever like one finishes, it'll go straight here. You just hit claim. So now it glows. It's at work. You can do this inside your house. You can do it anywhere you really want to. And that is how you make the, the auto cooker. Going back to the bench, if we ever want to upgrade it, we're going to make the regular ancient cooker here. You're going to need a 10,000 mist to unlock this next set of stuff. It's going to have more treasures to be found. We're also getting this stuff like a ice harvester's pallet bed, like a good, some good furniture. The sword and the stone right here. We got some game pieces, some upgrades. And uh, yeah, so this is just something that's really, really incredible. I'm glad they added this in here. And if you ever want to craft more, you can have multiples, but you're going to have to go and you're going to make more mist. Oh, you're gonna have to get more mist you're gonna have to get more ancient cores and then you can keep placing them down Alrighty, i farmed up all the materials for a second cooker so we're gonna test out some things and also i can confirm that you actually can get one of these level one ancient cores from dreamlight valley it just took me a lot longer to get one here compared to how many i got over here so i could just be very unlucky or the drop rate could be lower but if you run out of treasures on this aisle definitely head over to dreamlight valley now let's go ahead and craft another one real quick. So we're gonna make another basic ancient cooker. It's the same amount of resources. We're gonna go ahead and make it. And we're gonna test out some stuff. So let's go over here. We're gonna put it right next to that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be by each other. We're gonna go to utilities, scroll down. Let's get another one. And let's see if we do a, like a one star recipe if it costs less mist. So we're going to do, let's see, uh, we'll do a cheese platter. We're going to hit autofill. We're going to start cooking. And then if we go to cook, it still costs a 25 mist. I was hoping it would be like maybe just five mist if it was for a one star recipe, but that doesn't look like the, it's the case. No matter what recipe you make, it is going to be 25 total for the basic one. And it doesn't look like there's any cap on these. So it looks like as long as you can keep crafting these, if you have the resources, you can make as many auto cookers as you want because this one is still cooking. I have four right here, so I can go ahead and claim those. And then I still have this one that's crafting too. So eventually you're going to get enough auto cookers that you're going to be able to craft stuff very fast. Now this will actually have grow your potential to make tons of gold in the game because you're going to be able to make like pumpkin puffs. You're going to be able to go out and farm a bunch of pumpkins and you're going to be able to do these pumpkin puffs a lot faster to make more gold. Now, one thing I don't know just yet, I will update the comment section below, is if you can get memories from auto cookers or if you have to manually do it yourself. 
if that is the case and you can get memories from this this is going to be amazing because then you could just go over here and craft a bunch of one star recipes on both of these or maybe get five or six going at the same time and it could potentially farm some memories for you but that seems to be all that we know for this first one i will do a more advanced video whenever we get to some higher automation and also get to tiers two and three of the cookers but this should get you guys started i hope this video was very helpful for you if it was be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one